Hi guys and welcome back to my video blog. This is going to be the third part of my Scottish campaign in Total War Kingdoms. Last time I played this game was the 20th August 2008. My Lord. So if I'm a bit rusty I, I in, uh, representing Scotland. in Kingdoms, it's good to see you, my friend. How can we help? I'm sorry. Um, right now I'm just taking out various diplomatic relationship I have with England. Um, seeing if they want military access, but Good day they to don't you. want to. All of you guys voted for me to attack Norway, which I'm planning to do. Aye, Lord. Uh, right now I'm trying to move some troops Mouse. up to the nearby castle, which is bordering up to Norway. Yes. Um, yeah, I got a little surprise for you, but you'll see that in a minute. Just moving troops about and checking out the game. It's been a year since I last played it. I played Medieval uh, Empire Total War. Um, and moving some general units up. My king! Oh damn, Norway declared war on me, so I didn't actually. That was my little surprise. I never got to attack Norway, they attacked me. They attacked the general that I put up and now uh, retreated. And now I'm recruiting cavalry and units. Closing on I'm the enemy. To strengthen these guys so I can attack Norway. Yes, a bit, a bit of like. If you think it's a bit fussy, the screen, it's because I'm recording in half size because of the files get, get huge. Like, th this video is like 8 gigabyte itself or more. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to the enemy side. Going to use not tag, or else they're going to have like three huge armies against one one, one of my armies. Yeah, I'm going to have a slight advantage over here. So let's see how that goes. For Scotland, lads. Captain. For the king. So rainy and foggy. Now not really my choice of weather. So let's change it. Yes. That looks better, doesn't it? Units. Yeah. Um, my unit size is normally huge, and um, so yeah, the unit unit size is nothing I'm going to change so far. So yeah, uh, my strategy is trying to get a separate unit of um, try to hide flank him, uh, and also get my uh, archers in first and just pound him. removing skirmish and putting them on guard mode. So I have to stay put where they are and not trying to pursue enemies. Um, I don't know if you really can see it on the minimap, but I can only see his general unit. The rest of his army is hiding inside the woods. So I'm just aligning my guys, drawing them closer to his entrenchment in the woods. Um, I could really uh, um, suggest you guys to go ahead and buy Empire Cold War. Uh, it, come, uh, it has come a long way since it's been released. It, it was released a bit buggy had a lot of issues, but now they've really fixed it and uh, there have also been some smaller uh, booster packs with more units and they've promised a multiplayer campaign. So yeah, we're all going to look forward to that. We have been longing for a multiplayer campaign since Shogun Total War. So yeah, I'm going to shut the fuck up now and you'll just have to watch my guys move about.
I'm trying to get my spearmen, blah, spearmen uh, or pikemen, um, to go in from the right and trying to outflank him with my spearmen and one group of knights. I really regret not having more uh, cavalry, but the Scottish are not really renowned for their cavalry, so yeah, I just have to do with a lot of really brute, a lot of brute force in infantry. But I usually work with the Scottish, just, just a lot of guys with axes, just had them running. And now you can see the, the Norwegians just running forward, screaming, All oh, for Oslo! We are not so easily afraid! Yeah, so my guys are lining up and just going to plow them down with arrows. Archer! doing a bit of exchanging fire back and forth and trying to outflank him and see if the computer does even notice that I'm trying to outflank him. Um, so far I can see his crossbowmen and pestle archers are not really doing anything against my unit so I could still have them there and pound him down as well. Um, the, the problem with pikemen, I really suck at using them. But I got some great advice from you guys on YouTube about how to use them and um, they are pretty defensive. Uh, so I'm not going to attack with them but I'm trying to put them in a position where I um, not really trick him but I tempt him into attacking my pikeman. As you can see now he's moving because you can see that my pikeman is nearing him. But he also knows that my the big part of my army is right in front of his. So he's, if you only focus on these three groups, I can easily rush in, outflank him. Come <laughs> on. 
Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy general has no honor. He... Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard them well, so we can watch us defeat the rest of his army. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. So yeah, that was that battle. Um, now my guy is standing pretty much alone against two large armies. And uh, checking out what they have. They know have your uh, enemy. Really, something I have to threat to the paper. The other guy has strength. something that really could give me a challenge. So yeah, stay tuned for part four and see how this evolves. Um, I'm a bit sorry of the quality being a bit bad, but yeah, it's been like years since I've made these videos, so I just need to configure them correctly. This was recorded at like 2 a.m. So take care and uh, remember to comment, give advice. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.